Chief Justice of India, S.A. Bobde led bench uh, today ruled that the central government should notify the appointment of judges within three to four weeks of the Supreme Court Collegium reiterating a name for judgeship. The bench of Chief Justice of India, S.A. Bobde, Justice Sanjay Kishan Kaul and Surya Kant said that once the central government receives inputs and views of the state government and intelligence bureau, it would be desirable that the file be forwarded to the Supreme Court Collegium within 8 to 12 weeks. The timeline to be adhered according to the Supreme Court is, IB should submit its report inputs within 4 to 6 weeks of the date of the recommendation of the High Court Collegium to the central government. It would be desirable that the central government forwards the file recommendations to the Supreme Court within 8 to 12 weeks of the date of receipt of the views from the state government. It would be for the government to thereafter proceed to make the appointment immediately on the aforesaid consideration and undoubtedly if government has any reservations on the suitability in public interest, within the same period of time it may be sent back to the Collegium with the specific reasons for reservations recorded. Lastly, if the Supreme Court Collegium, after consideration of the aforesaid inputs, still reiterates the recommendations unanimously, such appointments should be processed and appointments should be made within three to four weeks. While cancelling the bail granted to uh, six accused in a homicidal death case, a bench of Justices D.Y. Chandrachur and M.R. Shah today has ruled that the High Courts, while uh, granting bail, has to record reasons as to why such bails are being granted. Also, on the ground of parity, the bench has noted that just because one of these accused have been granted bail, it does not mean that the other accused also would be granted bail in the similar fashion because facts and circumstances of each of the accused and their role in the, in the specific crime is different. Grant of bail under Section 439 of CRPC is a matter of involving the exercise of judicial discretion. Judicial discretion in granting or refusing bail, as in the case of any other discretion which is vested in a court as a judicial institution, is not unstructured. The duty to record reasons is a significant safeguard, which ensures that the discretion which is entrusted to the court is exercised in a judicious manner. In an important development, a Chief Justice of India, S.A. Bobde led bench uh, today granted an interim stay on the Allahabad High Court order which was passed yesterday in which a lockdown was imposed in five cities of Uttar Pradesh till April 26th in view of the rising COVID-19 cases. Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, while making an urgent mentioning today before a Chief Justice of India S.A. Bobre-led bench, stated that the state government was indeed taking steps to curb the spread of the second wave of COVID-19 and that a lockdown by the Allahabad High Court in a judicial order was not warranted. The court has now directed the state of Uttar Pradesh to report back to the High Court within a week and state what steps have been taken to curb the spread of COVID-19. Senior Advocate P.S. Narasimha has been appointed as the amicus curiae by Supreme Court and the matter would be taken up in the top court after two weeks. Supreme Court today cleared decks for the appointment of ad hoc judges uh, in several high courts of the country to tackle rising pendency of cases. The court has stated that the trigger point for the Chief Justice of the High Court to initiate the process of appointment of an ad hoc judge would be when there is a 20% or more uh, vacancy in the sanction strength of the judges of the particular High Court. The court has also ruled that when about more than 10% of the cases pending in a particular High Court are about five years old, then the Chief Justice of that particular High Court can consider the appointment of ad hoc judges. Uh, the court has clarified that the appointment of ad hoc judges will in no way substitute the appointment of the regular judges or the additional judges of the High Court. Regarding the timeline of appointment of the ad hoc judges, the Supreme Court today has stated in its guidelines that the Chief Justice uh, should uh, start the process of appointment of an ad hoc judge before a vacancy arises at least three months prior to that vacancy arising in that particular High Court. The Supreme Court has also barred an ad hoc judge from taking up other assignments like arbitrations, etc. when he's an ad hoc judge of a particular High Court. The court has also ruled that the salary and allowances of an ad hoc judge would be at par with that of a permanent judge minus the pension.
The top court has kept the case as a continuing mandamus and stated that it would not be appropriate to close the present proceedings to work out the most effective method of taking recourse under Article 224A of the Indian Constitution. Well, that's all from the Supreme Court today. Do stay tuned with Supreme Court today tomorrow as well. And don't forget to like and share barandbench.com.